time of the shooting, Bonner was wanted on warrants for a separate incident where he allegedly fired off shots in front of deputies. An investigation is underway in Hinesville after a shooting that sent three people to the hospital. WSAB's Nakaya Harris spoke with neighbors about that scary incident and what they think it means for their community. Right here on Freedom Court is where three people were shot late Sunday night. Neighbors telling me it was a chaotic scene before police arrived. I was laying about halfway asleep, and the next day I know I had a pow, 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 pow. And the next day I know I'm on, I know I'm on the other side of the bed because bullets don't have no name. That was Robert Hicks' reaction to shots fired last night. His street is right next to Freedom Court. You know, this neighborhood is normally quiet, but you know we have some people that's coming in the neighborhood that don't even live in this neighborhood and just want to just come and just disrupt everything, you know. And I guarantee them same people that did that stuff last night don't even live around here. Hinesville Assistant Police Chief Tracy Howard says two people who were shot were transported to the Liberty Regional Medical Center by car. The third person was airlifted to Memorial Health. When the officers responded initially to the call, which happened at 1022 last night, the um, original complaint that they were responding to was a complaint of threats. Uh, prior to them being able to arrive on scene, they were able to determine that you know there had been a, multiple gunshots. Uh, fired and that there was at least three people struck. He goes on to say there are a lot of gaps to fill with this investigation. As of now, further investigation will have to take place to determine whether or not past shootings are connected. Hick tells me he isn't worried about his safety or the future of the neighborhood after the shooting. Assistant Police Chief Howard says the investigation is still ongoing and the relationship between the victims and any possible suspect is still unclear. Reporting in Hinesville, Nakai Harris, WSAV News 3, on your side.